Somebody can go in and buy them for 9,900 bucks. I freaking love money. A map, you know, one little neighborhood, it's like, you know, two centimeters away from a good neighborhood. These neighborhoods are just so bad, so dangerous. They probably tore three houses down. Let's see up into the next floor. Uh, dude, I already hate this deal, bro. Just, uh, this deal sucks. Uh, it would be a pretty crappy video if I just said, yeah, bro, your deal sucks, and then I, I shut it off. Jared, you've reached out to me to analyze a duplex that somebody sent you. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Jared, my man, what is up? Grabbed another analysis from me. Last one that I did for you. Uh, for those of you that are watching this who aren't Jared and Jared just for you know, easy organization. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in the show notes. Uh, that was a potential flip project uh, that was presented to you in a way that said there was gonna be a $90,000 profit. Um, and I broke down those numbers and uh, there actually wasn't a $90,000 flip profit potential uh, with the way the deal was presented to you. The comps were a little funky. Uh, so I'm glad I was able to save you a bunch of money on that deal. Again, anyone else interested in seeing how much money I saved Jared, uh, in the show notes below, I'm going to put a link to that video. But what we got today, Jared, you sent me an email, uh, after you purchased this analysis, uh, 3676 East 151st Cleveland, Ohio, 44120. I'm guessing this was sent to you by another wholesaler. Uh, this is not on the MLS. It's not listed by any agents, not listed by me. I don't have anything to do with it. Uh, this is the information that you've given to me. Okay. Uh, it's in the Mount Pleasant uh, area. Uh, it's a duplex. It's $25,000. You were told it needs a $5,000 renovation. Uh, you looked and you're thinking the, the value of property surrounding this property is going to be between forty and 42000 your rental estimate, 700 for each unit, so 1,400 a month. Uh, built in 1922, yep, standard, these duplexes all build about that, that same, same general uh, time period. And the taxes, $837 a year. You are not sure about the furnace, the hot water tanks on the roof. I assume you're waiting on the wholesaler to give you that information. And you also uh, sent in a performa to me uh, that was provided to you, I'm assuming, by the wholesaler uh, who's presenting this, this opportunity to you. Um, the first thing I want to show you is, uh, you know, Google Earth here. This is the location. Uh, dude, I already hate this deal, bro. Just, uh, this deal sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, this is James Wise <laughs> denied right off the rip. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of this video telling you why, right? Uh, it would be a pretty crappy video if I just said, yeah, bro, your deal sucks, and then I, I shut it off. That would blow. Um, let's take this as an opportunity to learn why this deal sucks uh, so we could identify this the next time um, we see a risky deal. Right, Jared, you're from Australia, bro, uh, so you're doing it the right way. Like Cleveland, you know, on the map from a dude who's, you know, from the other end of the world, right? A, a map, you know, one little neighborhood, it's like, you know, two centimeters away from a good neighborhood uh, versus a bad neighborhood. This is just a bad neighborhood. Like, the numbers, dude, they're gnarly. They're awesome, right? If you could spend 25000 spend 5000 fixing it up and get $1,400 a month in rent, that's like the greatest freaking deal ever, dude. If you could do that, you need to do that over and over and over and over again. Um, those numbers are amazing. I don't even need to look at the performa that was sent to me because those numbers are un dude those are those are the best numbers ever right if you can get those numbers based on those numbers it's a freaking home run upon home runs um but the reason the deal sucks is not in the numbers it's in the property 
I don't think the property has a reasonable expectation of actually hitting those numbers. This property cannot reasonably bring in $1,400 a month. You cannot bank on getting $1,400 a month for this property because of where it's located. Now on my map here, this is the property. I just want to take your attention to like right here, this little Union uh, East 136th area. Like somewhere up in this general neighborhood within like these five or 10 streets. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, truth be told, I don't frequent this neighborhood uh, that often because it's incredibly dangerous, right? Uh, it's If you look up the crime statistics, which I will go ahead in the show notes, I'm going to link in a website, City Data, right? I'm going to link that in here so you can actually look up by zip code the crime stats um, for anywhere in the Cleveland area. And you'll see that this is like literally one of the most dangerous places you could be. So I don't like to be here very often. Uh, but in this general area, um, if you watch my uh, Tenants from Hell videos, which I'm, I'm sure you do because those videos are freaking sweet. Uh, if you watch those, in the intro, there is like this just scene uh, of just like this bombed out two-story room uh, with the floor completely destroyed. That was, uh, and you can see up into the next floor, that was an apartment building that I was selling for someone. Totally bombed out. This thing was like an eight-unit apartment building. And uh, I think I sold it for like $9,000, okay? Just bombed out, condemned apartment building. I sold for nine dollars So that's the kind of neighborhood we're dealing with, bro. Right down the street, you can buy just freaking destroyed, bombed out apartment buildings uh, for $9,000. So the risk uh, to this neighborhood is just horrendous, super dangerous. Now going to the, the, you know, closer, going down to Google Street View, I believe this is the property or it could have been this one, kind of hard for me to tell, uh, and you didn't. Um, there was no pictures included with your email, but it doesn't really matter whether it's this one, this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. It's all irrelevant, dude, because the area is just like, it's not worth putting your money um, in there. You can buy, for a similar amount of money, you can just go to less dangerous neighborhoods. Now, any neighborhood in Cleveland where you're buying a duplex for 25K and only putting 5K into it, you're already gonna be in a pretty high risk area, right? So don't think that there's any area in Cleveland where you can get a deal that low, uh, where the risk isn't high. It's still gonna be pretty high, but it, it doesn't have to be this high. You could do so much better. Um, like, I mean, just look at this neighborhood, dude. Like, if you go three houses over here, what do we got here? We got a house, it was torn down. That's not a good sign, right? You see houses that were torn down, they don't build new homes. That means that the cost to build a new home is gonna cost more than it's worth, right? So we got a torn down home right there. We go across the street, what do we have here? We got another torn down home right here. We got a boarded up home right here. And then look at this gigantic field. That looks probably like, I'd guesstimate they probably tore three houses down. So. Within literally just a 360 degree view, just on Google Earth, we got three, four, five houses torn down and there is no signs that they're building anything brand new. And we got completely boarded up windows. It's right down the street from my bombed out apartment building that I sold uh, that's got holes through the floors. Um, this, this, this area is not an area that uh, you're going to make money. I think you're just you're putting your, your money in too high of a, a risky situation. You know, you being out of town, right, you're, you're coming into the Cleveland market at a disadvantage. You know, you're from a faraway uh, location. You're not in the Cleveland market. Um, so you're doing it the right way. You're getting the, the correct information. But everything that you do in the Cleveland market, it's going to cost you more than the next guy. And uh, these are just like incredibly difficult properties to get to cash flow. Um, everything that you do, you have to pay somebody like me uh, or another property manager to do. You can't ever remove the middleman because you're, you're far away. Uh, so everything you do is going to be you know, more expensive. And it's just really, really hard to turn a profit because of how these neighborhoods are. I mean, you know, you don't know if the furnaces, hot water tanks and the roof uh, are good. But like you take your... Your furnaces, you know, these are the kind of neighborhoods, dude, where people go in and they like regularly steal furnaces. Like you might go install two furnaces on Monday and by Wednesday, somebody's already broken into the house and they've stolen the furnaces. You replace those furnaces, they steal them again. 
I've seen people steal aluminum siding off of houses in neighborhoods like this. Uh, so your money is just at such an extreme risk when you're investing in this. Everything you do is going to be expensive because you're, you're third party. You got to pay people to get in there. And uh, one other thing too, just so you know, like I, uh, you know, we do this stuff. We work rough neighborhoods, uh, but we won't work neighborhoods that are this rough at Holton Wise. So we wouldn't even be willing uh, to do a renovation project for you, uh, no matter how much money you paid us. And uh, dude, I love money. That's why, that's why, uh, that's probably why you're watching my content. You love money. You're investing because you love money. I freaking love money. I'm not in the business of turning down money, but these neighborhoods are just so bad, so dangerous uh, that I can't maintain uh, a low turnover uh, with my construction staff if I'm sending them to areas that are this bad. You know, they go inside the home, someone's breaking into their car, you get druggies, junkies, harassing them, uh, you know, you're at risk for being shot, robbed. Uh, these are just not good areas. So like I can't even maintain my staff. So I wouldn't, there's no amount of money you could pay me um, to go into these neighborhoods. So what that's going to lead you to do is you're going to have to hire people that are willing to go into these neighborhoods. And there's not like a lot of money uh, working with clients that are going across the world to find the very cheapest properties in the very cheapest market they can find. Uh, so you're dealing with a lot of clients that, uh, you know, they're not really down to pay like a good wage. Uh, so it's not like there's other you know, well-respected companies like mine that are down to go into these neighborhoods. So that's going to lead you to work with rough contractors. And that's another set of risks for you because you can't get a reputable, reputable uh, rather, uh, contractor to work on this property for you. So the neighborhood's going against you. Your contractors are going against you. Uh, your exit price, let's talk about your exit price, bro. Um, you're, you're, you're putting uh, estimate 4042. That's definitely a little north. Uh, on the MLS here, I pulled comps. Now, when you pull comps in a, in a city area like this, just so everyone is aware, when you go to pull comps, if it's urban like this, super densely populated like we are here in Cleveland, you pull quarter mile comps over the last six months. If you're in like an urban area or a more specialized product, you can expand that. It could be over like a year. It could be up to a mile, two miles, stuff like that. But uh, to pull appropriate comps in a super densely populated area like this with a bunch of similar properties, quarter mile radius, six months. I pulled the active and sold. Only one duplex sold in the last six months, okay? And it sold for $16,500, all right? And then on top of that, we've got two within a quarter mile here that are listed right now. Somebody could go in and buy them for 9,900 bucks and nobody went and bought these things. They're just chilling on the market at under 10K. Nobody wants them. Only one sold for 16,500. So if you were to buy this thing and you do get robbed by the neighborhood, you do get robbed by your contractor, you realize, oh dude, this deal is too risky for me. I don't want to deal with this. When you go to exit, even at a super low price of 9,900, you still might not even have a buyer. Now, just so you know, there's three other comps here um, that maybe you saw these on Zillow. Uh, these are active comps. One's at 45, one's at 49, one's at 70. Active. It's active. What active means is it hasn't sold yet. So that just means that's the wrong price. I know a lot of people, when they pull comps, they see what other houses are for sale for, and they think they should price them according to that. No, 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 dude. That's just telling you what it ain't selling for, bro. If that was the right price, it would have already sold. Uh, so these are bad, and you know this person who's listed their one house—they're just a complete madman at seventy thousand. Not everybody that lists a property has any clue what they're doing. There's a lot of properties that don't sell, so don't ever get confused by active comps. Uh, beyond that, I pulled single-family comps too to give you some more data and uh, goose egg, bro. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own, in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. There was no single families that sold within a quarter mile uh, radius of this property in the last uh, 180 days. Super densely populated area like Cleveland. Um, you should have like tons of comps. So if you want a duplex in this range in the Cleveland market, um, 
I would say, again, no matter what you do, it's still going to be higher risk. Uh, but I would park your money in the west side. I would go over uh, to like the very northern half of 44109, uh, 44102. I, I think that area has a little bit of promise. Um, you know, there's some cool stuff happening. We got Metro over there, and uh, they're putting a lot of money over there. And just the neighborhood right now, it's nowhere near as dangerous or rough as this neighborhood. So, like my team, we operate in those areas, um, and you can. You can pick up duplexes for you know low cost like that. I you're not really picking up like an empty one for 25 and putting only five into it um, and getting 700 in rent though. Uh, even over there, um, you know you're probably if you find anything in the 25k range, it's probably a hundred year old duplex with like a ton of deferred maintenance and the tenants are probably paying like a lower amount of rent, like 500 bucks. Um, when you turn those folks over, you're probably going to spend five or six K uh, re-renovating the unit um, to get yourself something nice. I do see some appreciation potential over there in the next five to ten years um, just because a lot of the stuff that's going on and it's really close to Ohio City, Tremont, stuff like that. So if you are jonesing to do like a higher risk multifamily deal, like get in for super, super cheap, uh, try to maximize the rents, I would definitely, I would look to the west side neighborhood. Uh, it's still risky. Don't think it's not. It's still risky. If you read my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, I made a comprehensive guide where I graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland market. Uh, link to that going to be in the show notes. Uh, I've still graded those west side areas that I'm talking about, the northern half of 44109. Um, I've still graded that as a D neighborhood, so that means it's high risk. Uh, but this, this area, dude, this is an F neighborhood. I see no chance that it's turning around, and I don't want you to put your money here. Uh, for all the reasons I mentioned, um, and if you do want to go high risk, go to that west side neighborhood. But even better than that, you know, being so far away, having a relatively smaller portfolio, I think you'll probably be better to stick to C-class and above. Um, like the real solid duplexes, the real solid earning duplexes out here in the Cleveland market, you got to spend at least $75,000. Um, and I think those kick off a consistent income. We run into some issues with the tenants from those every now and again. But those are like pretty solid buildings. Uh, if you go for the real low stuff like this in the northern half of 44109, uh, you're getting in much cheaper to deal with the additional risk. And I think that's more of a spec play because I, I think that could potentially in the next decade be the next Ohio City Tremont. Um, but, you know, your experience, your ownership experience won't be as smooth as if you pick up some of those 75,000 and up duplexes uh, in more stable areas. So, Jared, uh, thank you for grabbing another video from me. Um, I'm glad that I could tell you that this deal is James Wise denied. I'd like to think I probably saved you a decent chunk of money because I, I don't really see um, a high probability that you'd be able to pay that price for this property and end up with a profitable investment. Uh, so definitely don't do this deal, brother. Uh, so many more deals out there. And uh, when you're coming across all these deals, all these people sending you guys deals, uh, you know, just so you know, Cleveland, we are ripe with a bunch of low cost properties. Um, so do the right thing. Do what Jared did. Do your due diligence. Reach out to me so I could break it down for you. If somebody's hammering you, pressuring you, telling you, oh, you need to do the deal right now. You need to do the deal right now. I'm here to tell you right now, as the number one seller of rental properties in Cleveland, as a guy that runs a rental portfolio valued over $50 million dollars, Deals like this are a dime a dozen. I already found you two right now. This one's 25K, man. If you really want to buy duplexes in this neighborhood, let me save you 15K. We got two available on the MLS. One is 3641 East 149th. The other is 3645 East 153rd. Both of those are available for 9,900. So that shows you right there. They're available on the market, available for anybody. Um, if you're going to buy a really high risk property, you might as well buy both of those, save yourself 15000 each. The more and more of these analysis that you purchase from me, uh, I, I really think that you're getting like a, an extreme grasp, a great education on the Cleveland market, man. Uh, so just keep doing what you're doing, keep grinding, keep making the right decisions. You're looking at properties. Uh, don't, you know, try to get your money in as fast as possible. The right deals, they're available, you know. The best deal sometimes is the deal you don't do. Uh, you know, 
you could lose a lot of money buying the wrong deal. You know, if you miss out on one or two really good deals because you're a little cautious, that's okay. You're still on the learning phase. You've already got a couple properties in your portfolio that I think are in better locations. Those are gonna be good long-term investments. Let's build on that. Let's keep doing more of these analyses uh, when you're running across other deals um, to keep that money safe. For everyone else, um, you can go over to HoltonWise.com, click the For Sale tab, and you'll have the ability to see other investment analysis that I've performed just like this one for other clients of mine. And you'll actually be prompted to purchase your own if you want me to look over one of your own deals. On top of that, like I said, I am the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. So in the show notes, you have the ability to sign up to my mailing list. I will send you a video tour of a rental property every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On top of that, make sure you smash the subscribe button here on the Holton Wise YouTube channel. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.